Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can get the data from database table and show on the HTML page. So this is my database with the name of blog, my table name, members and here you can see that uh, there is around eight records and we will show these record on the Laravel HTML page. And this is my running HTML Laravel. So first of all, we need to create a model, controller and view and uh, after that we will fetch the data from the database table show on the html page and at the last i will ask you a question about the model and uh, you can just attempt this intro question in comment box if you want so now let's get started with the code all right so first of all as i told you we need three files view controller and model so now let's start and make a view file here so let's say my view file name is list.blade.php, right? And I'm just going to write here h1 tag and just we can write here members list or some other text, whatever we want, right? And uh, let's make it clear it. And now first I'm just going to create controller. So write php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is member controller hit it controller is created you can just check it out inside the app http controller and member controller i'm just going to make a function here let's say my function name is show and from here i am just going to return view right so just put the view name which is list here right and now let's go to the web.php in the routes folder so that we can just set up the route for controller so just write here use app http controllers and uh, controller name which is member controller if you want you can just copy it from here or you can just write it but it should be the same name because we are importing this that one uh, controller so just write here member controller and uh, put it the semicolon now let's make a route for it route and uh, just put here get method route name you can put anything i am going to put here list and in the second parameter there should be an array and just put here member controller colon colon class because this is the class and in the second parameter let's put here function name show right everything is fine now let's try to access uh, list route and we can see that we got the member list which is coming from the list table uh, list blade page so now we need to create a model so what should our model name right so as you can see that our table name is members then uh, our model name should be member why because in the laravel there is a mapping between database table and the model database table should always be plural and our model name should be singular so yes if uh, this condition is not matched we can put the table name manually but if th this condition is and mapping is matched then we don't need to put here our uh, uh, table name inside the model so just write here php artisan make model and model name will be member right because my table name is members so just write hit here and it will be created inside the models folder here you can see that and if uh, our table name and uh, model name route uh, mapping is not matched with like singular and plural then we can put here table name also right and uh, now uh, let's uh, just go for the .env file and let's check out the configuration I already told you about the configuration in the previous video but again I will told you 
if uh, by chance if you missed that so our database name is the blog and here you can see that it's blog so in your case database name it might be different then you can put your database name here then username and the password and same case with the password maybe your password is a different or maybe it's 99 percent there is a chance if you are uh, not modified it, it it will be blank right i modified my password and make it that right again uh database configuration is done you just need to just change these uh, three five three properties if you want and uh, now let's uh, import your model name in the controller so just simply put here use app models and uh, your model name which is member and now let's uh, just return here you can just comment this line for a moment and just put here member colon colon all that means let's show the old data here so now let's check it out what we get here now you can see that we got the old data here and uh, now let's just uh, store this data in uh, some variable like data or whatever you want and in the view let's add a second parameter and make an make a key and value pair so just use here members key or whatever key that you want to use dollar data now our data is has been passed in the list dot blade dot php and now just make a table here in the table let's use a tr td let's put here id and uh, some more like name email and address right now let's make a copy of it because to that tr i'm just going to making heading and uh, on second one i will going to make it dynamic so what we are ab able to watch here now now you can see that we got a two uh, records in table static records in table but uh, this is not look like table that's why i'm just going to add a property border one and now it every column and the row have the um, border now so now let's make it dynamic for that what we need to do we need to use here at the rate for each dollar members as you know where this member is coming from from this one right this members actually become here a variable as dollar member and let's make it and for each and here you can just put this this team table simply here and now you can see that we got the dynamic data but still text is a dynamic table but data is still static right so now let's uh, just simply use here dollar member id now id will be dynamic and let's uh, make the put the name here like name email and at the last we can put here um address and now our old data is dynamic here you can see that in the next video i will show you that if we have like say lots of record like 100 200 then how we can add the pagination here right so thanks for watching this video now it's time to interview question so what property i need to use inside my model to connect with the different table name with the different model right if they are not mapped with the singular and plural way then what property i need to put here the answer of this question i already told you in the previous video you can watch the previous video if you don't know and uh, if you just want to ask in me in the comment box then you can ask me in the comment so bye bye for a moment take care